Hey family. So you guys, I wanted to show you what's next. So I think I told y'all I was going to show you the patches. I never did. I'm sorry. I'm still doing it. So I may still do it. I don't know. Um, but I wanted to show y'all my progesterone shots. Cause remember I said that, um, it's a much larger needle. It's a little bit different process from the Lupron. So let me just show you. This is the Lupron needle. I'm done with Lupron shots. So I don't, you see that? I don't, I don't have to do this one anymore. This one, no. You see how tiny that guy is, right? But now I am shifting. So I'll be doing progesterone injections this evening. I wanted to show y'all that, but my husband is against it and you know because the shot goes in my butt well not really my butt but like the upper half it's really not even you know it's just like the upper quadrant he was like no so sorry y'all however i'm going to put a video that shows the way that that works just so y'all can get an idea of like what this whole process looks like because there have been other people who've recorded it i'll just like snag their stuff from youtube or something and drop it in but this is the progesterone so this is the progesterone in oil you see that progesterone so it's a um you can probably see the substance better it looked like a little bit of you know olive oil or something that i have to inject and the syringes i have to load the syringes so what i will do is i'll take a syringe like this this is a 3 ml 3 ml syringe can you see that yeah you can 3 ml this syringe but this needle comes separately and i'm going to show you there's two needles so there's one needle that i will use to draw up the progesterone and y'all this is just the needle you see that can you see that i know you can y'all see that needle that's just the needle. That is the length of the needle to draw up the progesterone. You guys, the very first time I had to do this when I was um, doing my process for the twins, I injected myself with this needle. Learned the hard way. Pink is bad because this needle, let me just show y'all because I'm actually, I'm about to just prep it just so I don't have to do it later. I'm going to take it out for you. So you see it here. Let me take it out. This is what the needle look at this needle y'all y'all see how thick this needle is and there's an opening you see the opening there that's where the progesterone goes in this is just for drawing up progesterone into the syringe y'all okay but let me show you the needle that i actually i actually have to inject myself with but we're gonna save this because we're gonna use this for later y'all the needle that i will be injected with because I don't do it to myself. My husband will do it. It is the same length, except it's thinner. So this is the needle. This is the blue one. So we have to remember, blue is for injecting myself. Pink is for drawing up the progesterone. Y'all, I don't know what we was thinking, but like, yeah, that was not a good day. I bled. It was bad. So here, this is the needle. And this is the needle that will actually be used to inject me. Y'all see how long that is? Let me see. This is my thumb. Let me see. Let me try it this way. This is my... Look, I don't know. Okay. You can see how long this needle is. This needle is long so this is the needle that will be used to inject me i will not be doing this one myself i think i said that but i just feel like i need to say that twice in case you think i am because i'm not so what we will do is i will obviously i'll take this out i will attach the pink needle pink I'm glad you're facing me, y'all. I'll attach the pink needle to this syringe. I'll draw up. Today, I'm only going to do one ml, which is here. And then every day thereafter, I will do two mls, which is here. Nope, here. So, and this oil goes in very slowly. So, what we do is we heat it up. 
with a heating pad. So 30 minutes before the injection, I'll turn on a heating pad. I will wrap this in the heating pad. And I also have patches. Oh, I didn't get my patches ready. There's a patch. I'll show y'all. I'll just like pop it in there. The Sanira patch that put that I put on to numb the area before the injection. Very, very grateful for these Sanira patches. They are a lifesaver because some women actually put ice on it maybe 10 minutes before and then they inject it and that could be problematic because then you got knots and all this type of stuff. So we're going to have to like massage the area and do all this stuff like to make sure the oil goes in and to make sure you don't get knots. You guys, you do these injections for the first 12 weeks of pregnancy. Those knots do not go away for months. So when I tell you months, honey, like six months, those knots be still back on your booty side. So um, that's the process for tonight. I'm still taking my estradiol pills and I still I'm doing patches on my lower abdomen. Um, so I'll be doing that all the way up until um, our transfer, which is next Wednesday, y'all. Six days. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We will be doing an embryo transfer of a little boy embryo. <sighs> Y'all, I'm just so nervous. I have I have so many emotions right now. Like, I'm nervous, y'all. I done gained weight. That's one, because I fell off the bandwagon over the weekend. And I promise you, when you have been on a liquid diet and then you start eating food, honey, the pounds come like this. So anyway, um... But I'm grateful my doctor like relieved me, the pressure from me and told me not to worry about it so I can eat food. Um, but just like, oh God, is this going to be a problem? I'm just, I have so many concerns emotionally. I'm all over the place. Because um, it's almost like your your grief and your excitement co-mingle. And it's really hard to describe the like the ang the anxiety, um, the cautious optimism, the excitement, but also the sadness. It's just like this this crazy mix of emotions that you have that I'm experiencing. So um, I'm just asking for some prayer because I feel like I I run through a million different scenarios in my mind, and I'm still in therapy, so we're still trying to process through and still trying to work it out. But yeah, just know if you're like, how you feeling? Like, I'm excited, but I'm also super scared. And I'm very hopeful, but I'm like cautiously optimistic. And um, yeah, because the first thing is, will the baby stick? Because just because you have an embryo transfer does not automatically equal that you will get pregnant. So know that just because they put a fertilized embryo in your uterus, that embryo has to burrow down into your uterine lining and implant. And if implantation doesn't happen, you do not get pregnant. So we are praying for a sticky embryo. Um, so that's where we are, you guys. I just wanted to give y'all an update. <sighs> Pray for my backside, y'all, because we about to do these injections, hunty. We doing them tonight, 8.45. So at 8.45, you see the clock and hit 8.45, just say a quick prayer for your girl because that means I'm about to undergo the needle. <laughs> um, okay, I just wanted to show y'all that quick update and then I will have to do a quick insert and show y'all this, uh, the Sanira patches. So, okay. I love y'all and I will see you soon. Bye, y'all. Hey, fam. So I did not, um, I didn't, Obviously, I didn't finish the video, else y'all would be looking at this prior to me doing my shot. But I'm getting ready to get it done, so I gotta show you real quick what I can show you. So this is the Sonera patch. It looks backwards. Maybe it'll flip when the time I share this, but this is the Sonera patch. Um, and this is what it looks like. I cannot show you exactly like... I can't show you details because my husband's not going like that, but I'll show you a little bit of something. So I'm about to put it on. I can't show you me put it on, but just so you get, oh, this is not even an idea. I got to like, yeah, I got all this stuff everywhere. So just bear with me. So, okay, here. Okay. Yeah. So you can kind of see right there. This is my like one I took out. Okay. So it's going to go probably right around here. So it'll go here. Obviously, on my skin, it'll go right like maybe about, let me see, 
Got to find them. Okay, so probably right here it'll go. And then I'll, I'll have that on there for, um, I have that on there for 30 minutes or so. And then I will take the shot. So, wish me luck. You know what I decided? There's nothing wrong with showing y'all the prep work, right? So, remember earlier I showed you this is the syringe. And this is the draw up needle, right? For drawing up the progesterone. So, that's on. And yeah, take it out. Remember how big this is? It's huge. All right. So, we turn our upside now well, usually I'm just trying to catch the oil so we're just gonna stab this little guy here pow like that and we're gonna draw up sometimes I just let it no we want to have it sideways yeah sideways and then we're gonna draw up to the one because remember today is the first day so we're only doing one ml let's see if I could do it for y'all to see Okay, I'm having problems because for one, I'm getting way more air than I am oil. Okay, here we go. Down to the one. I don't know what's going on with this needle for whatever reason I don't know it's a uh, it's like oozing the oil back out so I'm gonna draw it back up to the one again and it's just look at this thing it's just going on its own ever slowly but look it it's pushing the oil back in okay okay this one is not gonna work so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just get another syringe i'm gonna keep this needle because oh see yeah that thing didn't want to work for us it did not it did not so we're gonna grab us another one <sighs> fun time all right here we go got us another one we're gonna twist that one on all right let's see if we can't get this one to cooperate with us here we go we're drawing back up to the one again Here we go. Here we go. Drawing up, drawing up, drawing up. Uh oh. Drawing up, drawing up. Alrighty. And it's not pushing the oil back in. Okay. I had a janky syringe. So here we go. Boom. Alright. So now what we do is remember the blue one. So we ain't going to be putting this. This will not be the injector. No, sir. Made that mistake once. Never again. Here we go. Boom. Make sure I got all that oil. Get all that oil. Don't play no games. All right. So we got all the oil in the syringe. And we're going to just twist this off. And then we can discard this one. And then we're going to twist this one on. And this one is just going to chill and wait. For the injection so we are prepped and now I'm about to put it in a um, heating pad so that the oil can be nice and loosey-goosey and then it's gonna be injection time dun dun dun